Hey docs, Dr. Rob Martino with Beyond Functional Medicine. And I know you expressed some interest in maybe showing up to our last seminar where we are going over things about like diabetes and cardiometabolic type of problems and you weren't able to make it. And that's okay, I get it. Life and practice is really busy. However, we want to take this time to invite you to our next seminar that's gonna come up. It's gonna be in Atlanta, Georgia. It's gonna be on April 5th through 7th. And this time we're tackling the topic of hormones and weight loss. Not quite as sexy as some of the other topics out there, but an incredibly marketable topic when you talk about how much money weight loss generates in this country. It's a ridiculous amount. However, it also runs on a 98% failure rate, which means all these people who are spending trillions of dollars ultimately in trying to lose weight are ultimately coming up empty handed. And part of the reason why that is, is because you know, you probably know all this already to a certain extent, but weight loss is a, and weight gain rather is a symptom right? It's a symptom of being sick. It's not, you can't crash diet, you can't do these different fads, you can't drink all these different types of shakes and stuff like that, and really have a sustainable lifestyle to lose weight and then keep that weight off. Because ultimately, the only thing that makes you lose weight and keep the weight off is rebuilding your metabolism. And that is a very big chunk of what we will be going over in this seminar and how you can differentiate yourself from a marketing perspective when people are looking for different weight loss programs, but also from a really big perspective of how do you actually get this to work for these people? How do they actually take that weight off? And, and ultimately, how do they get healthier too? You know, the weight loss thing kind of gets them in the door, but ultimately the conversation is you got to get your health back under control here because if not, it's going to spiral out of control and the weight is just going to be an ultimately a part of it. But you have to understand from a biochemical perspective, the, the tactics that we have taken, which is tons of supplements or these kind of crash crazy dieting, hasn't worked for the majority of people and they're pretty well frustrated with it. But there's this big market out there that's still very much looking for help and needs it. Because like I said, at the end of the day, it's going to destroy their health on a level that's so much greater than just a few extra pounds on a scale or, or vanity or, or however it kind of comes out. So when we go through these three days, the reason that it takes three full days to do this is because we break it down really specifically into what we're trying to accomplish here. The Friday night, which you're ultimately welcome to come to, and if you decide after Friday, like, like hey, this isn't for me, that's totally fine, we get that, but it's never happened yet, but if it happens to you, we totally get that. But the understanding of Friday is it's all about the science and philosophy of how we have to treat patients now. To be really honest with you, if you think you're gonna change somebody's diet, and give them supplements and that's going to fix their leaky gut and the second they leave your office when they get in their car they put their cell phone in their lap to drive they destroyed their gut lining that's the reality of the world that we live in today so this idea of fixing leaky gut is kind of like getting a cut on your knuckle and putting a band-aid over it and expecting the band-aid to heal up while you're bending your finger up and down every day and it just keeps reopening the cut unless you have some really advanced tactics now nobody wants to talk about this the research is all there but nobody wants to talk about it because they're all doing it in this biochemical model the reality why is why pretty much everyone still has leaky gut and why it's this huge thing that you still find on the internet. So, you know, these are the types of things that we have to go over. We have to go over the science and the philosophy of why this actually happens and understanding that we're living in a completely different world and society. If you think that things aren't going to systematically keep getting worse, it's like anything else. If we don't evolve with the times and the sickness that's going to be coming into our office, we're going to start to get overwhelmed pretty quickly. So Friday is all about kind of bringing it to a point of science. You know, why the research, everything that we're looking forward towards. If you're not familiar with the science of deuterium, you need to get familiar with it really quickly because it's found in pretty much every chronic disease. And if somebody has it, all the tricks of the trades ain't going to help you get them any better. And they're going to spend a lot of money with you and end up being ultimately upset because they're not going to get the result. Deuterium is a huge issue. It's starting to come into mainstream press now but it's still kind of on the outskirts. It's some pretty cutting edge science, but it makes all the difference in the world. Then on Saturday, we take the time to go through and really break down how do we evaluate these patients, not on necessarily on a biochemical level, but on a biophysics level. Understand that physics controls the world. Physics controls all the other sciences. There is no chemistry. There is no biology without physics. And the physics, we are a biophysics energetic being. And I'm not talking about like foo-foo and ha-ha. I'm talking about literally your mitochondria make ATP. And you need that in order to survive. And there's a thing in physics called Kleber's law, which basically says that the less energy you have, the bigger you get. That's how an elephant eats grass and stays that size. So this is an adaptation that somebody will have to go through when they're energetically deficient on a mitochondrial level in order to make ends meet energetically to, to fulfill all their daily activities and needs of what they're gonna go through. And there's a way of evaluating that on lab work which goes just so much further beyond quantitative numbers, oh, you're short on this, let's give you some of this and let's give you some of that, which again, unfortunately, has proven relatively ineffective for resolving heavy duty problems, especially the tons and tons and tons of thyroid cases that are gonna walk into your office. If you do a lecture on weight loss and ask how many people there have a diagnosed thyroid problem, you're gonna get a truckload of hands. 
But if you don't have a permanent solution towards them, and how to really regulate their thyroid and get it working, not just taking supplements for the rest of their life that's gonna do basically what, what, what medication does, except from a natural perspective, that's maintenance, and that's trying to maintain and manage. We don't want that, we want resolution of problems. So you know, all of this kind of gets into the bigger picture of how do you evaluate that? And then on the Sunday morning, how do you break this down and really go about putting together a treatment protocol for some of these people? You know, how do you leverage some, some things that are a little bit stronger and a little bit more effective and a little bit more cuts to the core of what their root problems are? Not just giving a supplement for everything that you found wrong. And there's, you know, sometimes that's appropriate and a lot of the times it's not because when you see people coming in taking 200 different things, again, it's not a sustainable lifestyle type of things. The funniest part about this, for most of these people, you'll end up saving them a truckload of money going through your care because they won't be spending $1,000 on supplements every single month that they have to do from now until kingdom come. So the Sunday is really about all about how to put this together and if you want to leverage technology which is not only an incredibly effective way of getting somebody better, but also the most effective way to practice keeping a really low overhead and a high profit margin, which is really ultimately the name of the game to keep a stress-free existence. You could do these really high cost models with, with low income coming into you, and essentially it only matters what you take home. But if you can leverage some of that technology to be able to get some of these types of results, then really ultimately the sky becomes the limit for you, your practice, your results, and your income, which again, unfortunately, you are a better healer and you can make a much more of an impact when you're financially more, more stable than you are and you have more freedom and just more fun in your life. So hopefully this resonates with you. You know, again, uh, I get all passionate when I talk about some of this stuff. This is not a huge rah rah type of seminar, though. The rah rah is in the science and the effects that you can get on some of these really complicated problems. We're going to dig in. This is tactics. This is how do you get results when push comes to shove and someone's sitting in front of you. How do you talk to them? We will train your staff. So it's feasible for you to bring your staff. Do that because we will have our staff train your staff. How do you answer phones? How do you handle these kind of conversations? How do you get them in? How do you close cases? How do you do all those different types of things? Because anything that your staff can do to empower them makes them better staff. But it also takes things off of your plate, which helps with implementation and again, overall stress levels and profit lines. So if you can bring staff, that's great. If not, that's okay too. We can always do it at another point, but it's a really helpful thing that we put in to design. This is easily marketable. It's easy to put in place. It's easy to follow the formats to get the results. And it's easy to make good money off of this while you're making a humongous impact in helping a lot of people, which again, ultimately is the name of the game. So again, we're gonna be getting together in Atlanta, April 5th through 7th, hormones and weight loss. We hope to see you there.